We're also getting some reaction now from the Republican ticket. Former President Donald Trump says Governor Walls would be, quote, the worst vice president in history. Republican vice presidential nominee, Ohio Senator J.D. Vance, calls his opponent a far left radical. Now we're getting reaction as well from Indiana lawmakers on the vice president's pick. Fox 59 State House reporter Hannah Adamson shares their insights on Governor Walls. I love him. Great pick. Excellent pick. Indiana Representative Andre Carson says Tim Walls previously served with him on the House Transportation Committee. He says Walls's Midwestern sensibility will create what he calls a formidable ticket. I think it represents the best that our country has to offer. The Midwest is represented. We often get overlooked, so it's showtime. Creates Former Indiana Senator Joe Donnelly a- served with Walls on the House Committee on Veterans Affairs. A statement from Donnelly reads in part, quote, our veterans knew they had a tireless champion in Tim, and he will work nonstop for all Americans the same way. He is a down-to-earth, moderate, common-sense problem solver. There is tremendous enthusiasm about the quality of this selection. Indiana Democratic Party Chair Mike Schmuel says he believes Walz's working-class background will appeal to voters in blue-wall states, such as Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania, states he calls essential to victory. Tim Walz isn't from one of those states, but he's from a neighboring state and a state that's a little more middle of the road than um, than people might realize. But many Indiana Republicans dismissed the notion Walls is a middle-of-the-road candidate. In a statement, Indiana Representative Jim Banks called Walls a disaster for Minnesota, while Indiana Senator and Republican gubernatorial candidate Mike Braun called Walls, quote, wrong for our country. Indiana Senator Todd Young says he believes Walls will have a challenging time defending some of Kamala Harris's more liberal policies. I also think that he's going to have a tough time defending um, on many fronts the Biden-Harris record uh, from inflation to the botched withdrawal from Afghanistan uh, to the southern border. Meanwhile, VP candidates who did not make the cut rallied behind Walls Tuesday. In a statement, former South Bend Mayor Pete Buttigieg called Walls, quote, an exceptionally effective governor and also great to work with. Reporting in the newsroom. I'm Hannah Adamson. Last night, the Democratic National